Hey, hey, Chrissy Chin here, business strategy coach. And let's talk about email list segmentation. Why would you want to segment your email list? Well, there's a few reasons why you might want to do that. One major one is that you want to send a specific message to a specific segment or group of your email list. Um, if you have people that have opted into something, maybe you want to send them a very specific message. So maybe they've opted into a freebie that you are offering. Let's just say the top five ways to segment your list, right? Uh, so they've opted into that form. And now you're hosting a masterclass on that. And you want to be able to target them. You already know they're interested. They've downloaded your, um, your freebie. And so you want to target them and say, Hey, this masterclass is for you. And then maybe you want to send a different message to everyone else on your list um, that hasn't opted in to that form yet. Um, so basically sending a different message to different people, maybe you attract different audiences. I tend to attract network marketers and coaches. Um, and then there's just kind of this other segment of entrepreneurs. So while they can all take advantage of something like my build a blissful business course, the messaging that I share with them to show them the value in that course might be slightly different from the network marketer to the coach. And so being able to segment my list and send two different emails with a little bit different message to them, but have them all go to the same sales page might just do the trick in getting them to opt in or upgrade or purchase whatever I have for them. Um, so that's one reason why list segmentation is good. Another reason is you don't just want to email your entire list all the time with all the things because people will unsubscribe from your email list if it's not relevant to, to them and why they joined. Um, also, if you're emailing mass amounts of people and people aren't um, clicking into your email for whatever reason, and you have a low open rate, the servers are going to ping you as not important. And they're going to say, ah, no one's opening Becky's emails. We're going to just not send, send those, or they're going to go to spam or they're going to go to promotions. Um, and it's not going to do you any, any good. So uh, like we just ran a sale to our free account members. We've got, you know, over 23,000 people on our email list, but the people that have specifically joined this free account, we wanted to target them. So instead of sending an email to everyone and having a lot of people not open the email, we targeted to just send to those with this specific free account. So 3,000 plus people um, and more people have opened that email, which is good for us. So there's lots of ways um, you can segment a list and I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you in my Kajabi account how to segment your list. Here I have created a broadcast email and the first thing that it wants me to do is select my recipients. So this is where you segment your list. So if we click on all people, we've got all people right now, custom segment, you can save some different custom segments if there's ones that you use a lot, like maybe, uh, you know, anyone who has this offer, this offer and this offer. So three different offers, but you typically tend to send them. So, um, with this business, we've got a US market, a US Spanish and Canada resources available to, And so we want to be able to send an email to those people very often. So I've created a custom segment and then saved that. Um, but here is where you would go to create that custom segment. So you can see everyone on the email list here. And so here's where you select your different filters. Now, Kajabi has a lot of filters already built in. So that's good news for you if you haven't been intentionally segmenting your list with some specific tags or asking questions, then you can filter in a lot of ways just by using these pre-made filters that they have. So take some time to look through all of these. Um, contact added in the last 30 days. Maybe you want to message those people with um, a specific message or, uh, um, or something. Um, email activity delivered in an email in the last. You can select you know, 15 days um, and apply that. 
form filters. So if you have freebies or opt-ins out there where you're collecting people's email addresses and giving them a free offering, or they've had to fill out this form with their name and email, you can filter by anyone who has filled out a specific form or even who has not submitted a form. So maybe anyone who's submitted a specific form, you want to then pitch them a masterclass on a topic that's related to what that freebie is. So if I was doing a freebie with this, it'd be, you know, uh, grab my free training on list segmentation. And then maybe I want to pitch a masterclass about more in depth about segmentation or, you know, whatever. And so I would select anyone that submitted the form to get the free training. And then I would pitch them whatever I wanted. Uh, who has not submitted the form, maybe I have a different message that I want to send to anyone who hasn't filled out that form. We're not sure if they're interested in this type of information. And so maybe we have a different message and we want to feel them out or give them a little bit different information. Maybe we want to send them to the page with the free training first and get them to opt into the form. So there's many different ways and reasons why you would want to select one or the other. Um, completed an assessment, passed an assessment, failed an assessment, uh, owns any products or doesn't, and then has any offers or doesn't have offers. These are two really popular ones that I use very often. So with my Build a Blissful Business course, sometimes I want to send them emails that say launching the affiliate program. I want to send them anyone who has this product and say, hey, I'm launching an affiliate program with my Build a Blissful Business course. Uh, for my students, that's you. I know that because they have this product in their account. And so I've segmented my list to send them that specific message. And the reason I would do a product in that instance is because I have many different offers that include the Build a Blissful Business course, offers that include bonuses, don't include bonuses, one-time payments, you know, two payments. So I would have to select maybe seven different offers to get all of the people that have my Build a Blissful Business course. But one simple filter can be owns any of these products if they own Build a Blissful Business in their, in their um, you know, membership site then I want to send them this email about becoming an affiliate for the course. So that's where it can be really useful. Does not own products. When is that useful? If you are uh, wanting to pitch a product that you have or sell a product, maybe you want to target everyone on your list that doesn't already have that product. I ran a virtual summit and I sold this bundle pack. And so the people that opted into that bundle pack, they got access to build a blissful business. And so when I wanted to target for a Black Friday sale, anyone who hadn't purchased that course, I said, hey, I want to send an email to anyone who does not own Build a Blissful Business course, right? So th these are really popular ones that I use a lot to list segment. Another one is offers. So if you have a specific offer that you want to target um, or a couple different offers that you want to clump together and create a custom segment, you can do that. So does or doesn't have an offer. Coupon codes, you can filter by that. So there's a lot of filtering. Um, and I would just recommend if you've got your Kajabi account or whatever you're using to go in and see what kind of filters your platform already creates for you. Tags is one um, that you should get familiar with when you have someone submit a form or various things. You can add an automation and you can add a specific tag. Uh, so where this has come in handy is I use the Kajabi Affiliates program. I don't know of a way to filter through a people that have joined with affiliates. So what we do is we have someone on the support team that will on the regular go in and look at our the people that have joined as affiliates and they'll add a tag to um, those people and they'll add an affiliate tag. There's a couple other reasons why we actually add that tag because it creates some other automations in the back end for us. Um, but this is a great way. I just sent an email out to them to, and so I use this filter. So let's say has any of these tags. So then there's, there's some specific language has any, has all of, um, and it means something different when you're tagging. 
So if I look up affiliate, membership affiliate, so this is how they get tagged, you'll see this number change from 23,000. We'll apply this tag and it will change to dun, 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 455 affiliates. So if you wanna send a specific message to your affiliates, you can filter this way and send a message. This came in really handy when we ran a sale. We wanted to send one specific message to the people with a free account to promote the sale and, and get that conversion to have them upgrade their plan. And that was one message. And then this message to the affiliates was not a, hey, upgrade your account. They've already upgraded. The message to affiliates about the sale was, hey, this is the perfect time to use your affiliate link and promote um, upgrading a plan to those in your network so that you can earn commissions. So it was the same event that was happening, which was a sale. One message went to one part of our segmented list, which were our free account members. And the other message went to our affiliates. Um, and so then you can add more um, segments. You can save the segment if you've added a couple things like has these tags, has this offer, doesn't have this, if you want to get super specific. Um, and then if you want to remove it, you just remove it. So let's go back to the custom segment. See if there are any others that we want to talk about. Um, just some default fields or custom field filters. So you can actually ask specific questions when someone comes in and you can say, hey, are you, so for example, if I attract network marketers and coaches, I could say, hey, are you in network marketing or are you a coach? And so if I want to filter a message specifically to my coaches, I can select by that custom field that they've answered that um, as opposed to the other custom field. So there's some custom type filters that you can do and use. So this was short and sweet, just kind of touching the surface of list segmentation. I hope that it was helpful. Um, if you are interested in Kajabi, the platform that I'm using to host my website, uh, run my CRM, my email system and landing pages and all of that, you can go to thechrissychin.com forward slash Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I. Um, and you can use my personal referral link um, to set up your own account. If you have any questions, hop over to my website, thechrissychin.com and feel free to email me through there. Of course, you can connect on social media, the Chrissy chin um, on Facebook and Instagram. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.